have any idea how the universe and solar system started? It's nice to hear that the universe or cosmos contains all the galaxies, stars, and planets, while the solar system includes the satellites of the planets, numerous comets, asteroids, and meteoroids, and the interplanetary wow. Do you know that there are theories out there? Now, let us discuss the theories behind the origin of the universe and solar system. stars are formed and then the galaxies. The universe continued to expand up to the present time. The next theory is the steady state theory and it was proposed by Sir James Jeans in 1920. This theory states that the universe has been present ever since and therefore it has no beginning and no end. This universe is always expanding and its appearance remains the same over time. And that's how our universe formed. Now, let us proceed to the theories behind the origin of our solar system. Nebular hypothesis and it is the most widely accepted model in the field of cosmology to explain the formation and evolution of the solar system. In this theory, a star system was formed from thin, dim, rotating clouds of dust and gas or a nebula. When gas cooled, the nebula began to shrink and as it became smaller, it rotated faster casting off rings of gas and forming a disk-like shape. The centrifugal force from the nebula's rotation and the gravitational force from the mass of the nebula form the rings of gas outside. These rings condense into various densities of planets and their satellites. And it was developed by Immanuel Kant and Pearson 
one replaced in the 18th century. The second theory is the planetesimal theory. A theory on how the planets form. According to this theory, when a planetary system is forming, there is a protoplanetary disk with materials from the nebulae from which the system came. These materials is gradually pulled together by gravity to form small chunks. These chunks get larger and larger until they form planetesimals. Many of the objects break apart when they collide, but some continue to grow. Some of these planetesimals go on to become planets and moons. It was proposed by Victor E. Sapronov and developed by T.C. Chambery and F.R. Molto. And the next theory is the Tidal Theory. And it was developed by James Jean and Sir Harold Jeffries in 1970. A star passed close to the sun where the tidal force or the secondary effect of gravitational pull between the fossil star and the sun drew large amounts of water out of the sun between passing star and the out of water quickly pulled to become solid bodies called galaxies. And that's our science lesson for today.